The fifth wave of the Omicron coronavirus is already here and as always in the last two years we need to set up an SSL VPN solution that everyone, every employee, every worker can work remotely from different locations. So let's set up an SSL VPN portal using our FortiGate that will serve as the SSL interface and our employees will actually connect through it using RDP to a specific server. So let's start. All right, so here's our 48. Now let's create using port four. Let's just create uh, our server's interface. And here we will have the server that we wish to RDP. So let's just use HTTPS and that will be our interface gateway. We will not set up a DHCP server. We will actually create an address object for our specific server using um, that interface. So the uh, address will be 192.168.6.1. That's our interface gateway. All right, now let's just move to policy and objects. Let's just create an address object for our server. And it will be at 192.168. Dot six dot three slash thirty two. All right, now let's move back to our VPN and let's now set up the uh, SSL VPN portal. So let's create a new SSL VPN portal. Let's just name our portal, let's name it Omicron, since uh, that's the reason that we create the SSL VPN portal and we will not use a tunnel mode we will use a web mode where we have different resources that we can actually jump to uh, and we will set up a bookmark for our um, server all right so we have an SSL VPN portal let's use the same theme let's create um, the uh, bookmark so let's just name it a uh, server and we will use RDP, there we have it. And our host is 192.168.6. I believe it was two. All right, and um, let's just use um, a description web server. We do not use a single sign-on we will just set up the user and password for that uh, server and okay that's about it now we have our server set up as a bookmark on our ssl vpn portal all right now let's move to our ssl vpn settings and here we will listen on our when interface that's the interface that will connect to to the ssl vpn portal we will not use 443 we'll use 10443 now uh, it is recommended to use your own certificate now we will use a self-sign our 48 self-signed certificate the other thing that we need to do is to uh, set up our user our ssl vpn users we will do that soon and we do not need to address the tunnel mode client settings we just need to create the user group for that ssl vpn portal so let's just create a new user let's just name that user and let's set up the password for that user all right i've already have one with the same name so i've changed that and let's just add him to our ssl vpn group all right there we have it let's just submit and we have our SSL VPN group. 
which will be associated with the Omicron portal. All right. Now we need to set all other groups. So let's just set them to um, any other uh, SSL VPN portal. All right, let's just apply that. Now, as we can see, we currently don't have an SSL policy, so let's just press that. And you can see that the incoming interface is our SSL VPN interface that we have just created. Now, the outgoing interface is our server's interface. The source, the source can be all, and our group there it is and the destination now we can uh, set up a specific destination which is towards our server but let's create the full subnet as a destination so let's create a new address group let's just uh, name it servers and and let's just add up the interface itself dot six dot zero slash 24 and there we have it so we have now created an address object for the full LAN and, and now let's just set the service to all add up any security profile that you wish to use and press OK let's just name that There we have it. All right, now we have the SSL VPN portal um, address, which is the same address as your WAN interface, 10.100.102, that's in my case, uh, .88, and we have the port number. And here we have it, let's just enter credentials. That's my credentials. Let's log in and we have a bookmark for our server. 